So in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to make the animation. So as you can see right here, he makes a little spell animation when you click the left mouse button. So that is what we are going to do today. So we start off in a new scene. As you can see here, I have set up my character and put him in a just a very basic scene here. By the way, if you don't know how to set up the third person controller with your character, check out my other tutorial, which I will link in the description below. So as you can see, we have our character, which can walk around already and act as the third person controller tells him to. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start. Oh, and by the way, the character, um, there's a shout out to this page here, guys from iClone6. Uh, the character is free, you can download it in the asset store. However, I wanted to give a shout out since this is a pretty great character and um, yeah. So check them out. So what we want to do first is we want to add an animation. We want to get the kind of magic caster animation in. So what you want to do is first you um, want to check out that your character is uh, mechanism compatible, of course. And then you want to head over to the uh, asset store and download uh, the Varrior Pack Bundle 2, which is also free. It only has like three animations, but that's all we need for now. So once you downloaded this, you should have this folder down here, which says Warrior Pack Bundle 2 free. You then go here and check out the Mage Warrior, and then go on Animations. And here you have three different animations for the Mage. If you click on it, you can see a preview how it would look and what we want to do is we want to get this animation in here just without the staff that he has so what we do for this is we select our character and we click on animator so this is the basic stuff that you get when you use the third person controller and now we create a new state so my right click create new state empty um, and then up here we can call this, um, let's say, cost spell. All right, so let me now change in this window. And now we want to uh, select the animation for this state. So we go over here and we say attack. And we can see there are a few attacks. And down here I can see the path. Uh, where the animation is coming from. So you can just select the one where it says Mage. So double click it and then you have it selected. So right now whenever this third person controller is in this state it will play the attack animation. <coughs> so let's also make a transition from the cast spell and back. We don't need a transition between them from here to here. That we will do by code later on. So now that we have it in there back here and um, what we want to do is we want to trigger that animation and this is actually very easy you don't have to use much code it's just a few lines and yes yeah, so let's head over to the coding program of your choice in my case it's Visual Studio and in here we have third-person user control script so if you were to go to the third-person controller and then you would find two scripts on here, which is third person user control and third person character. And we only need this first one. And you click here on edit script. Just click on this little, I don't know what's called, little button here and then go to edit script. And you have the script, which is the script to move the character around. So what we want to do is first up, we are going to type a private animator and then animator. So I'm not really going to explain what I'm going to do here now. If you want to learn how to code, there will be further tutorials um, later on. For now, we're just going to type it in. So then in the start function right here, we are going to say an animator 
and use the get component to get the animator that is on the third person controller. So now the animator knows what kind of animator he actually is. And now in the update function, we are going to go ahead and um, we want to make the, the animation play every time we press the left mouse button. So what we're going to do is input get mouse button down and then a zero. A zero stands for the left mouse key and a one I think would be for the right one. So we don't really need parentheses here because we only have one clip that we want to play. So now we use the animator that we just created. Go to M animator and then play. And now we are going to type in the state that we just created, which was cast spell, I think. Let me check again. Cast spell, there we go. Okay, and so now every time we press the left mouse button, he should play that animation and then go back to its normal state. So let's check it out. So as you can see now, once I hit, hit that left mouse button, he is kind of moving the way. So this is the basic spell animation. In the next tutorial, we're going to discuss how to move on forward. So, subscribe if you like. <laughs>